in this new world video, I'll go over a Blunderbuss and Great X build where I'll cover one shot combos as well as the perks and gear that you will need for the Blunderbuss and Great X build. First, let's take a look at the one shot combo. For the one shot combo, it's quite simple to do. Just get yourself a victim, lie and wait for them, or you can just stand out in the open, doesn't matter. But what you want to do is surprise them with a gravity well, splitting grenades, sharp null blasts, and net shot if you can. Next, another example just to show you again graph well into splitting grenades, sharp null blasts, and then you can also just auto if you wanted to. But we're gonna chase them, net shot them so that we can catch up, they will get slowed. Thunderbuzz auto attack, jump down, and finish them off with another auto. Net shot can also be used as an opener. It's a great opener since you can line up your graph well, but sometimes it doesn't go to plan, but you still have your autos since they're slowed, and you can just engage them and maelstrom after. So net shot, really great for opening a fight as well. Next, let me show you how to chase a bow user net shot comes in really clutch to chase bow users since it will slow them giving you time to line up your graph well so once slowed you can graph well dodge and maelstrom into them and the graph well will explode doing more damage and it should execute them if they run really little con next let me show you how to escape with the blunderbuss blunderbuss combined with the Great Axe is a great escape tool since you have net shot where you can escape with and you can use your Great Axe charge to escape as well so that you can go kite and heal up so that you can engage a fight again. Here we're just healing up, you'll see in a minute, we'll turn again since we're just running to see if the enemies will give up. There I slow them with net shot so that I can escape again. After escaping, we got our health back, engage them and finish them with Blunderbuss as well. Close the distance and just combo. Before we dive into the build, I want to show you my playstyle. Basically, my primary is the Blunderbuss and my secondary is the Great Axe. The Great Axe I use as utility and I stick on the Blunderbuss since I get Fortify and Damage Reduction. You'll see when it gets close, I'll go to my great axe and then I'll kite with net shot and pepper him with damage as he close the distance back to great axe into a heavy and then I'll just pepper him down once I see he's low then I'll use my great axe again so pepper him with damage and then catch him and maelstrom to execute so that I can get the damage and that's how I play my blunderbuss now let's jump into the build part of this video where I'll show you my gear. First off, the gear is just base, basically pretty regular, just a bunch of purples here and there legendary. But let's start with my Great Axe. My Great Axe has Strength, Enfeebling, Maelstrom, really good perk to, re to do, reduce the damage. And then Forting Strikes, increase the damage and Kini Jacket also increases the damage. For my blunderbuss, I want a better one, but at the moment it's pretty solid. Flame attunement and enchanted. And I've got a malachite on there. Since I'm gonna net shot them or gravity weld them, so they will be slowed in some way. And for my axe, I just have a regular arcane gem in there. Since I want to split up my damage, because some people run a lot of physical resistance or slash damage resistance. So I want this as well. For my headpiece, I just run Insatiable Gravity Bell. This perk is really good to execute your enemies as well. Plus you will gain some healing. So basically you'll gain 33% of your damage with Gravity Bell back as health. And you'll cast another 4 meter radius burst around you. So if they follow up, even if you miss your Gravity Bell, You'll still do damage with it. Plus a resilient. Everything must have resilient. P for my HP is a resilient net shot. Net shot is a must in this build to be able to catch people since you'll exhaust their stamina. 
meaning their stamina regeneration will be a little bit less. On my hand piece or gloves, I have elemental aversion. This helps with the mages a little bit. Splitting grenades, reduce healing and resilient. And then I have shaking energy. I believe if you are in light, this is probably a must. So I just got a cheap, a cheap one. And then resilient leeching. If I had to add a perk to each one, if it's all legendary, it will probably be shirking fortification, resilient and a weapon perk, or freedom, if I can get free freedom. For my amulet, I have divine and health. I'll probably include the champion's amulet right here so that I can have more damage. But for now, this is what I have. Then I use forgotten vow, the ring, which will give me infilibing, which will basically synergize with my great axe in Fleebling Maelstrom, increasing the duration of it, and then Doom's Chance Earring, which is refreshing toast and regenerating, as well as refreshing, really good. For my attributes, I basically run 300, 200 if I eat a food, and I just, the rest I pump into Constitution for my weapon masteries, it's pretty simple. The only thing I do here, since I switch so much with my weapons, I usually go with Bloodlust instead of Mauler's Fury. Since I don't want to build up the stacks, I want instant damage when I Maelstrom and just quickly auto attack while I rotate back to my Blunderbuss. And you get all of the other perks. I tried a couple of things. Still experimenting. But this is what I have at the moment. Let's move on to the blunderbuss. For the blunderbuss. I like double down. Since it will reduce some of my cooldowns. You'll notice your build is pretty cooldown dependent. It'll basically blow your load. And then you'll have to wait for it to come up. A couple of perks that I just want to note is with the Sharpnel Blast, I believe if you auto attack with the Blunderbuss, this will go on cooldown a lot faster. So basically what it does is each, each individual hit from this ability or from the Blunderbuss primary fire will lower the cooldown of this ability by 1.5%. So basically like a refreshing move. So this will be up a lot. So really good. Obviously, net shot, your bread and butter, really, really good. If you hit your net shot, cooldown is also reduced, so you can kite with this. And then I took this for the increased slow, really important for me as well. This one right here on a roll, also really important for this build, I believe, since you will reduce the damage when you do abilities on it. So you will basically gain a fortify. And also really good, the last chance. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. And if you want to farm a great, great axe, then I made a list video of the best great axes that you can farm. You can watch this video right here.